you doing? Justin here today. We're checking out the Beatles classic when I'm 64. I kind of missed the boat on that first line of this song, but it's a really good fun one to play. I'm also going to show you the little bridgy uh, kind of lead line that happens as well, but uh, let's do all of that in a close up. So the verses start off with three bars of C chord. So two, three, four. C and get older. C chord my hair. C chord years from G. To G7, will you still be sending me a G7? Stop, there's a melody line going to C. Okay, so let's just talk about that a little bit. C chord, first of all, for three whole bars. Then we're changing to the G chord. Jumping over to the G7 for two bars. Then we've got a G7 on beat one, and then this. There's this little lead line, you don't have to put that in, but I think it kind of fits with the vocal well. This is third fret of the second string, open first string, second fret first string. Will you still be sending me a valentine? G7, C, two, three, four. So it's just got that little stop. G7 on beat one, one, two, three, four, and then into the C chord. Okay, that whole verse section again. C and get older, C in my head, C chord years from G. G7 sending me another bar of G7. Stop melody line going up to the C. C chord in out till C to the three. C7 you lock the F. F to F minor, C to an A chord, D7 to G7 to C, G7 to C. Okay, so that last part of the verse. C, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, C7. So just moving from third fret to first fret on string one. C7 going to F for a whole bar. The second open, first open. Then we've got two beats on F, two beats on F minor. Okay, this is a really common movement on you, so even though it's a little bit of a jump, it's definitely one worth practicing. Again, just playing between those two chords is a really good idea if you're not familiar with it. The F minor, of course, first fret, open, first fret, third fret. Okay, first finger, open, second finger, little finger. Okay, so F to F minor, Leave the little finger down, lift off the other two for the C chord. First finger and second finger, second fret, first fret on the strings four and three for the A chord. Leave second finger down, put third finger in the second fret of the second string and lift off first finger. And you've got D7. Move those two down one string, put first finger in the first fret of string two. There's your G7. And then we finish with C. G7, C. Really common movement again that. So that last part. C until loud, till C chord to three. C7, you lock the F. Here's the complicated bit. F to F minor, C going to A chord. D7 to G7 to C, G7, C. It's the same for all of the different verses. So one more time, right the way through. I'm going to add in the strumming now. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down. C and get older, C chord my head. C chord is from G. G7, send me another bar of G7. Stop, melody comes up, go into C. C until out, till C into three. So let's take a look at the bridge. I'm going to show you the chords first of all, and then I'll show you how to play the little melody bit that we hear on the record. So uh, we start off with an A minor chord, second finger, second fret string four. It's two bars of that, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, then to a G chord, two, three, four, and back to A minor, two, three. Now A minor, B, A minor, two, E 
seven for two bars. One, two, three, four. Back to A minor. One, two, three, four. And if you D minor, we haven't come across D minor yet, so that's second fret, second fret, first fret, open. D minor, the word, it's two bars, D minor. And then F could G to C to G. Okay, one more time through that a little quicker. Two, three, four, A minor. A minor. G. A minor. A minor. A minor. To E7. Back to A minor. To D minor for two bars. Now let's have a look at that really cool little melody thing that we've got going on, which is this. Okay, that replaces the A minor, A minor, G, A minor at the start of the bridge there, the first time through. So all we're doing, we're just playing a little melody on string four. It's going nine, nine, seven, five, two, two, open two, to a G chord. And we lift off the second finger there on beat three. So one, two, three, four, and then back to A minor for a bar. Okay? Nine, nine, seven, five, two, two, open two, G, G, lift off the finger and back to A minor. As usual, when you're learning a song, I would recommend that you start with really, really simple strumming and literally just playing the down strums on beats one, two, three, and four. Once you feel cool with that and you can make all of the chord changes nice and smoothly, then you want to start thinking about changing up the rhythm a bit. And probably a good place to start with this would be going one, two, and three, and four. pretty easy strumming pattern and it is the kind of song that you could play about with and do all sorts of different strumming patterns as you like really. Um, in the bridge where we've got that little part that goes a little higher I'd just get, stick to the more or less continuous strumming on the down strums you want to be emphasizing that melody note a bit so that but it's still going But I'm just making sure that on the down strum there, I'm kind of emphasizing string four there to bring out that melody. But uh, uh, actually, I'm still doing one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, one, two, and three, and four, down, down, up, down, up, down. But you know, again, it's really important that you experiment with these kind of tunes. It's definitely not set in stone when you're playing a tune on the uke. You know, you should be exploring it and trying out some different things and seeing what feels good for you. So I uh, hope you enjoy playing this tune and I'll see you for plenty more very soon. You take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.